Here it is. Weekly challenge number four. Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth week of Learning From Home with Phys Ed. Just a quick review or reminder that last week was our last week of dance. If you missed that or you were intimidated by that, uh, you can still submit a dance. Uh, you can still submit uh, just words only. I don't need a video or a picture of you dancing. The video or the picture would get you, would show more learning, so you'd get the higher marks for that. But just by showing words or just by drawing me a picture, that would get you lots of evidence or me lots of evidence that you've been doing some good work on dance. Just to give you an idea of what you could have done, here's an example from one of my grade six students who gave me permission to share this with you. Those were the drawings that he came up with to show his dance, and that's his write-up. That gets him a perfect 100% score. So it doesn't need to be complicated. You don't need to dance or send me a video of you dancing. Uh, kudos to those who did, but if, if that's not you, if, that's, if you're not brave enough, then do as the student did, and, and you can still show me that you're learning a lot while dancing. Here's the overview for this weekly challenge, week number four. I've included uh, two new icons at the top. We've talked about this in phys ed classes in the gym all the time, and I neglected to add it when I was giving the information to you, but here it is. Uh, we always talk about a zoom out, the big picture thing that we're doing, so something that you could see from a plane if you were flying by, and we always talk about the unit zoom in if you're looking at a microscope. So zoom out, I've had lots of students ask me, like, what am I supposed to be doing? So this is what we're doing. We're creating our own game uh, from home using the space, equipment and players that you have access to. That's what we're doing for the next four or five weeks. I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take. Uh, the zoom in, what we're doing this week, so that we can get to that zoom out, is we're gonna learn how other people are making games from home using the space equipment and players that they have. Step number one, as usual, be a spectator. So that's everything in red here. That's your objective number one. There's lots of links here. Each one of these satellite links hits with this little picture of a video that you can watch. Uh, so there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different games that you can watch. These games aren't, you know, super polished, like watching the NBA or watching a football game or, you know, watching something who's someone who's proficient at dance. Like they could be a little bit ugly. They could be parts of a game. They could make work up to a game. You know, my daughter Layla's invented a game. You can check that out and watch her videos. That's, uh, that's the first step. Watch and get some information. Step number two in the blue is gonna to be to hand in an assignment, just as you did for each week. I'm gonna start doing an assignment each, each week, and for this one, it's gonna feel a little bit like a journal. So there's two parts to the question. How are you making, or sorry, how are other people making games from home? That's the first question. Part A in the big blue box. Uh, part B is, what did you notice and learn? Here's the rubric I'll be using, AudEdsP2, assess your entry. So you're going to find my face, just as you usually would. You're clicking on submit, and then you're looking at this rubric. So there's two parts, just as I said. How are other people making games from home? Five or more sentences gets you consistently. What did you notice or learn? Five or more sentences in that section gets you consistently. Here's what you would do to achieve usually. In the middle gray stripe, strip is what you would do to earn sometimes. The last white space is rarely, and then the other gray shaded area furthest near the left is the question. So once again, our unit zoom out or our flybys, we're gonna create a game at home using the space, equipment, and players that you have. Uh, coming up next week, we're going to start to build our own game by thinking about rules. So you'll, your game will start to take shape a little bit. It'll be like one parts of the game, like some of the small little videos that you watched over the week. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Looking forward to it. Till next time, stay healthy, everybody.